Hello, Commissioner. I've just boarded the ferry back to the mainland. I'll lose signal soon, so this will have to be brief. Well done. I've heard reports from the local precinct. So there's now a body in play, is there? And what of the research facility? While there, I found a list of individuals who are believed to be victims of changes of heart. And why is that? Explain. Of course. Not only was the document tampering vice minister on there, but both of the Sapporo Central Councilmen, too. So their hearts were changed by Medis. Most likely. At the very least, Medis is benefiting from whoever has the power to change hearts. If we keep digging into the people from the list and their connections to Medis, the mystery ought to solve itself. I'll bring everything I have to HQ once I'm ashore. I also plan to send it all to the local precinct back on the island. Well done, Hasegawa. You've brought us that much closer to solving this case. Thank you, Commissioner. It sure is a good thing we didn't bust the Phantom Thieves. Thanks to their help, we might actually be able to blow this case wide open. You seem pleased. Oh, well, it's just that... Leave it. From now on, be ready for things to swing into high gear at a moment's notice. And keep your eyes open. At this point, there's no telling between friend and foe. I understand. I'll report when I've arrived. <sighs> I wonder how Zenkichi's investigation is going. He did say he'd contact us once he figured something out, but it's never easy to wait. All we can do right now is put our faith in him. He's the only one who can get the job done. Guess we ended up relying on him a lot, huh? All of us wish to uncover the truth behind this case. In this, our goals are aligned. That's right. And as long as we stay on the lookout for jails, we'll be doing our part. That said, we'll arrive in Fukuoka pretty soon. Sophia, do you sense anything? Hmm. Nothing unusual detected. Not even what I felt in Okinawa. So Fukuoka doesn't have a jail then? Strange. The kata is quite populated, so I figure he would find at least one. Yeah, if only we could fast travel in reality. That'd speed up our search. Less jails means less trouble, though. Good point. Maybe we should just check Fukuoka off and move on. <laughs> Ow. Oh, what's wrong, Makoto? Oh, it's nothing. Just my lower back aching a little from the drive. Attention! We have an emergency! Get this woman to sick bay! ASAP! Mako-chan, you're not hurt, are you? Is it because we made you do all the driving? Well, I was aiming for a straight shot to Kyushu, but I never planned on this. Warning! Driving without a license is unlawful. Daring suggestions aside, would anyone mind if I took a little break? I think we need more than just a break. We need rest. It's important to let yourself fully recover. Precisely. Straining yourself will only lead to injury. Let us stay in Fukuoka for the night. Then it's decided. I'll pull off the highway. Fukuoka at last! Ready to make some nostalgia happen? Nostalgia? But this is our first time here. So this is Hakata Station. The gateway to Fukuoka. Huh. So, like, if we're in Fukuoka, and this is the main station, shouldn't they call it Fukuoka Station? Trivia. Interestingly enough, there is a Fukuoka Station located in Toyama Prefecture to the north. Really? All the way up there? Then does that mean there's a Toyama Station here in Fukuoka? I don't think they'd switch things up on purpose. Anyway, I understand this place is Fukuoka's central activity hub. That would be wise. We should find a place to stay so Mako-chan can recover. Sorry. Thanks for understanding, though. Don't sweat it! First we grub down, then we hit the hay. You'll be good in no time. There you have it! Sophia, you know the drill! Based on data from previous drills, I found us an appropriate hotel in addition to a restaurant nearby. Ah, Sophia, you work fast. Okay, everyone. It's time for some R&R. Oh, man. Oh, oh, I've been alive 
this long without Hokkaido Tokotsu? I'm awed by the soup's creamy golden hue, specked with dots of green onion and dashes of red ginger. These three colors combine to form an exquisite harmony in my bowl. I dare not take another sip, lest this masterpiece be ruined. Uh, your uh, masterpiece is gonna get cold. Oh, I gotta say, these food stalls have their charm. Even I feel right at home here. Hey, let me have a little taste. Oh, what's the big deal? Remember, I'm no ordinary cat. You're as ordinary as it gets, at least on the surface. Don't blame us if you start hacking up noodles. Here, Makoto, have some of my chashu pork. They say it'll boost your energy. Ooh, take mine too! <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. How's your lower back doing, Mako-chan? Better, after a nice hot bath. That always seems to do the trick. That being said, I probably shouldn't be on the road tomorrow, if only to avoid causing an accident. All right, then we'll take the day off. Guess we should hit up Gramps and let him know we're staying another night. Then let's find Makoto a massage place for tomorrow. I say the girl deserves it. Got it. I'll locate the best venue there is. Yeah, I gotta say, though, it is kind of rough having only one driver. We gotta get our licenses. I believe Haru has one already. That is true, though I am pretty lacking in experience. But don't you worry, Mako-chan. If for any reason you're not up to it, I'll take the wheel. Oh, oh uh, well, as much as I appreciate that... Is something wrong, Lakoto? You don't look so well. No, 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 it's nothing. <laughs> oh crap, we better dig in before the noodles get soggy. Oh, damn, I'm stuffed. Oh, now I can die happy. I suppose I should also throw in the towel. Not a drop of soup remains. I can't believe you guys got seven noodle refills. You'd think this was a ramen buffet. Well, I see you boys had quite the meal. I should mention, customers who order over five sets of noodles get a free souvenir bowl. For real? Oh, thanks for the hookup, Pops. Oh, this should serve as good decor. Surely it will brighten up our vehicle's interior. Senkichi's on the line. Hey, where are you guys? All right. Sounds like you're going at a decent pace then. Anyway, I'm calling to let you know I think I found our guy. I'll give you more details in person. Saves us time and energy. Sorry it's so sudden, but how soon do you think you can be at Kyoto? Oh, Nijima's down for the count, huh? Damn, of all the rotten luck. Then what about a bullet train? Or, wait, can't you ask Okumura? Doesn't she have a license? All she'd have to do is take the San Yodo from Fukuoka to Kyoto. Not a tough drive by any means. I hate to lay the pressure on, but we don't have much time. A lot rides on this. Wait, so he knows who the mastermind is? Finally, we get to bust this effing punk! Then let's leave tomorrow morning. Being tired is no excuse to delay our mission. As true as that is, be careful not to hurt yourself, Makoto. Hell yeah! Kyoto from here. Roughly eight hours by highway. And we'll most likely make it by sundown. Bathroom breaks done, seats comfy, snacks ready for consumption. Are you okay to drive, Mako-chan? Honestly, I'm not at 100%, but I don't want to let you guys down. I see. <sighs> yourself. Hmm. Makoto is looking paler than ever now. <sighs> you don't gotta be nervous. Just take it nice and slow. <laughs> Haru? <laughs> I think I'll be just fine. In 
fact, I have a special technique that'll make your head spin. Uh, is she okay? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Um, so I've never really told you guys this, but the moment Haru's hands touch the wheel, get ready to shift into overdrive! They're not here yet, huh? Guess I'm a little early. Well, maybe I'll just keep working on the... What the hell? Whoa, speak of the devil. Uh, well, you guys got here quick. I thought we were gonna die. I think we already did. My soul's barely tethered to my body. <laughs> Gonna puke. Okay. My apologies, Haru, but I request you steer clear of the driver's seat from now on. I only have so many lives left. Meow. Meow is unconscious. Wake him up. Hey, Okumura, what happened? Um, I was just driving normally, I think. <sighs> Oh, the room finally stopped spinning. You have a very, uh, unique way of driving, Haru. Why, thank you, Mona-chan. She really shouldn't take it as a compliment. Regardless, I'm glad you guys made it here in one piece. By the way, what is this place? It seems unfit for a typical gathering of law enforcement. You could call it my secret base, I guess. Basically, it's a place to hold up if shit ever goes south. A good friend of mine used to run it. But now, it's just an empty old bar, suitable for investigating far away from any prying eyes. So this is like your hideout? More like a safe room. No, a safe house. Those newspapers, are they not from two years prior? Those newspapers are irrelevant. We have other business to discuss here. Then let's hear it, Zenkichi. All right, let me break it down for you bit by bit. I cross-referenced every name on the list we found in Okinawa. Based on our assumption that the Mastermind would stand to benefit from changing hearts en masse, this is who he ended up with. Yeah, he sure looks like a skinny bastard. Don't I know it. To think he'd turn up now of all times. No, not in particular. Uh, anyway, the man's name is Jun Owada. At 69 years old, he's on his 10th term as a legislator. Not only that, but he worked his way up to Chief Cabinet Secretary of the ruling party. In short, he's not someone to mess with. They say he was a Masayushi Shido supporter during the election last year. Did you say Shido? Unbelievable. I never thought I'd hear his name again. Do you know him? Man, he totally tried to screw up your entire life. I get why you'd want to block him out. Oh, I didn't know. Sounds like you and Shido had quite the history. But we're not after him right now. That list contained a handful of Awada's political opponents. People he'd rather not have around. So it's clear he's behind all this. However, I highly doubt he's doing his own dirty work. He'd have a heck of a time getting his political opponents to friend him on Emma. After checking his inner circle for sympathizers, I found out he's been meeting with a certain entrepreneur. Quite often, too. Nice guess. It's the CEO of Medis, all right. Akira Kanoe. Uh, isn't the CEO of Medis the guy we heard speak back in Sendai? I came across communication records between him and the director at Okinawa, and it showed they kept in contact. Then the pieces all fit. Yeah. Whenever Owada wants someone out of his way, he calls on Kanoe to take action. And the director at Okinawa was likely the one who arranged this. Now, too late to tell. Hold on. If Kanoe's the one changing hearts, does that make him a monarch too? But he's the CEO of Medis. Wouldn't he get one of his subordinates to do the job for him? 
I suppose it would be natural to assume that. But as you all know, in order to change someone's heart, you need to be their friend on Emma. Everyone Owada associates with is a big-time elite, and Konoe is the only one in their league. Besides, he's the head of a huge company. If anything, I think he'd want to be a monarch as well. He wouldn't want to risk his heart getting changed by someone else either. Another thing, the people on that list most likely had their hearts changed in Osaka. Huh? Why do you say that? Everyone on that list who went crazy had all traveled to Osaka at some point. That's also where Medisa's main office is, meaning there's a good chance we'll find a jail in Osaka, with Konoe as its monarch. Though, the only way we'll know for sure is if Sophia senses it. I did sense a jail. Huh? Oh, right! We did pass through Osaka when I took a wrong turn. Sophia, you should have spoken up! I did speak up, but you guys were too busy to listen. Uh, if it was when Haru was driving... Then we were likely too busy screaming for our lives. Hmm? Well, that certainly makes things easier. So it's confirmed as a jail in Osaka. Now we just need to determine whether Konoe's the monarch or not. Wait, if you know that much already, why not cuff his ass right now? Right. Now here's the issue. That list only spells out his motives and connections. It isn't solid proof that he's been changing hearts. We can't arrest him on speculation alone. The most we can do is conduct a search. And that's only with his consent. Hell, he could pack up and run if he wanted to. We don't have any legal authority over him. Another thing I noticed is how many high-ranking members of the Force were on that list. You think he's changed their hearts, too? To get the police in his pocket? Yeah. And from the look of it, not just the rank and file, either. So that's why you called us here. Because you don't know who the real enemies are. <sighs> the most I can do without being traced is some light investigation. And even then, that might be impossible. If it's the top brass we're dealing with, they might just leak the info and take action before I can lift a finger. In other words, the police are not our allies. <laughs> what else is new? <sighs> you do realize I'm also a man in uniform? Anyway, it's obvious that going about this the regular way is out of the question. What we need is something a bit more uncanny. Something only you guys are capable of. Come on, I can do that on my own. Wait, like hell I can. That's illegal. If our hunch is right, and he really is the monarch, we can grab a confession out of him. That's right. We completely overlooked the fact that Konoe has a jail. But won't we need a keyword to gain access? Precisely why I had you rush over here. I'll be meeting Konoe at Medisa's corporate headquarters today. Really? How'd you manage that? By going about it like a cop. Told them we had intel about a possible security leak involving their software. We received information about a possible party attempting to hack Emma. So on and so forth. Ooh, does somebody need a hacker? Not even that. I only said it to score me an appointment. At the end of it, I'll suggest he add me on Emma so I can answer any further questions. And we'll have ourselves a keyword. In his mind, I'll be just another pawn for the taking, so I'm pretty sure he'll take the bait. The moment I get the keyword, if I get the keyword, I'll send it right over. That's what I've been meaning to tell you. Hope it was worth the drive. Wait, if you're gonna head up their office, that means you're going to Osaka, right? Let us come with. The sooner we enter the jail, the sooner we can finish this operation. Fair, but there's a chance I might not get the keyword. Tagging along for nothing would be a wasted effort. Besides, doesn't Nijima need a breather? In fact, you all look like you need one. Can't really argue with that. Bottom line is, if you guys go down, so does everything I've worked for. So I need you fighting at your best. Got it. So our job's to wait until further contact. What the hell? Now we gotta wait even more? Oh, you really want to complain? Right when I'm about to tell you the big surprise I have in store for you? What big surprise? Is the spot Ramps got us? Am... am I losing my mind? No way! We really get to stay here? L it looks like it costs a fortune. This is one of Kyoto's fanciest hot spring hotels. A single night averages 40,000 yen per person. 40,000 yen? To be met with such extravagance after our harrowing journey. I am unsure how to process it. 
He did say he could expense it, but is he sure about that? You said it! Oh, time for a nice hot soak! We really owe Zenkiji a great big thank you. Okay, guys. Let's get in there. Just inside. Dang, I don't want to end up breaking something. <laughs> First time I've seen Inari cry over something other than food. What do you think, Mako-chan? Doesn't this seem like a great place to relax? It sure does. I saw a pamphlet mentioning how the hot springs here have a variety of natural health benefits as well. Then let's jump in already. Come on, come on! I'd like to jump in this time. Hey. Guide me through the water like you did in Okinawa. Why? Did I suggest something wrong? There's a lot that's wrong. If you're gonna go at all, go with me. Are we even allowed to have phones in the bath? There was, in fact, a sign that forbids bringing cell phones inside the bathing area. No fair. But rules are rules. I guess I'll just wait here. There's always the bath in our room, Sophia. Once we're done, I'd be happy to take you in. Hooray! I'd like that, Haru. Why don't you join them, Yogana? There's a shower for pets, too. I'm not a pet! What? I won't let that stop me. After we're done bathing, we can all enjoy some traditional Kyoto cuisine. According to the website, dinner is as follows. Crab, shabu-shabu, heirloom vegetables, and rice soup. A veritable feast. First he cries, then he drools. You're a real leaky guy, Inari. Hey there, sorry to bother you. I had an appointment with Mr. Kanoe. I do apologize, but Mr. Kanoe is currently out on urgent business. Urgent business? Unfortunately, I don't have any more details. Please come back another day. Excuse me, but I was specifically told I could meet him here at this time? I'm sure, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but you'll have to come back again. What's going on here? You called, sir? Ah, Commissioner. Right on time. There's a favor I'd like to ask you. And he is? Hmm. Why, this is Mr. Owada. I'm sure you've heard much about him. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Owada. Pleasure's all mine, Commissioner Kaburagi. I've heard much about you myself. He tells me you do... Marvelous job. Hmm. Now, I hear you're after the Phantom Thieves. Apparently, they're the culprits behind the change of heart epidemic we keep hearing so much about. But we still lack concrete proof of that, actually. Oh, I'm sure you do. But my source just provided me some info that could turn this case on its head. Recently, these Phantom Thieves tried hacking one of the biggest virtual assistant programs this nation ever produced. They tried hacking Emma? That's the one. Now they're looking to steal people's information, and not for conventional 
reasons. First, they get all the dirt on you. Then they make you confess whatever they feel is convenient for them. That's what this epidemic is. <sighs> I'll have you know I take my position very seriously. The future of our great country is at stake, and I'll be damned if I let some two-bit terrorists run around thinking they're the ones in control. They must be arrested immediately, for my own peace of mind and that of the people. Commissioner General, what is this really about? Our legislators have decided that the Phantom Thieves can no longer run around unchecked. And we, as protectors of the law, simply wish to do what's right and assist them. There's also the matter of the next election, which I do hope to take part in. I'm sure you'll catch my drift. <laughs> You'd like some achievements under your belt. That's being very blunt about it. <laughs> but yes, as a matter of fact, I would. So am I to understand you want the Phantom Thieves arrested and the epidemic ended without any proof? You're also to understand that coming up with proof is part of your job. Mm. I've already discussed this with Mr. Konoe, the CEO of Modis. If anyone has the right to help us in this matter, it's him. You may not like to hear this, but it's too soon. What we call a change of heart epidemic, the public calls justice. They believe the Phantom Thieves are exposing society's evils. Suddenly apprehending them would only cause backlash. We should at least investigate whether they are really blackmailing and... They'll be charged with murder. <sighs> a body was found in Okinawa at a research center for artificial intelligence. The victim was leading Emma's development. Once the Phantom Thieves discovered how to penetrate the system, they murdered the poor man. <sighs> now, do you understand? Our country is in the midst of a burgeoning crisis. Huh. There's something in it for you, too. How'd you like to call yourself Senior Commissioner? I'm sorry. You'll be on top of the entire force. I'm sure you won't be found wanting. The offer's on the table because we know you'd be right for the job. Hmm. Then I'll make it happen. If you two are giving the orders, then there's nothing more to question. Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd make a wise choice. Ah, well, the rumors were true. You really do show discretion. Perhaps you could reach Commissioner Generals. And on your merit at that, I'm sure you do just fine. Thank you for the vote of confidence. If that is all, please let me assure you, the task is in capable hands. <sighs> in the end, we're nothing but obedient dogs, barking only at those we've been ordered. is indeed divine. We must absorb all the healing energy we can. You know, I hope Gramps is alright. The man is more dependable than he seems. I'm willing to take him at his word. We may not be waiting now. Once he gets Kanoe's keyword, we spring into action. So be ready at a moment's notice. Well, maybe not at this very moment. Right now, it's relaxed. mixed bath? Maybe that's why it's so empty. It switches every so often. After 8 o'clock, it's women only. The doors on the men's side should have automatically closed. Then I guess it's all ours. Sweet! I'm gonna boil myself like an egg! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Why the hell aren't they here? We must have entered right when the time allotment switched. 
No, it's too late. They're already here. Calm down, boneheads. Our honor is at stake here. As noble thieves, as gentlemen, we need to vanish without a trace. Failing means certain death. Joker, let's begin the operation. Could stay here forever. I think I'm gonna melt. What was that just now? Is somebody here? <laughs> Were you peeping? Explain yourselves this instant. <laughs> yeah, you perbs. Double, no, quadruple perbs. Wait, it, it, it ain't what you think. See, the, the bath time changed right after we got in. Clearly, this is all just a misunderstanding. Uh, believe us, Lady On. We were locked in at the very last moment. Right? No excuses. <laughs> uh. Yep, we're in heaven, all right. <sighs> well, that was a fine waste of time. Now what am I gonna tell him? I know I had an appointment. What kind of jerk ducks out on the police? We have some breaking news. Huh? Earlier, Akira Kanoe, better known as the CEO of Medis, held an emergency press conference, during which he announced that Emma, his company's latest virtual assistant, will cease service for the time being. What? First, let me start by addressing our users and apologizing for any inconveniences that may affect you. Emma's servers were indeed hacked. That much has been confirmed. Even more regrettable is the fact that some of your personal data was leaked in the attack. For that, I'm deeply sorry. As a company, we understand how valuable your privacy is and have taken appropriate measures to remedy this breach. That's why our company is suspending all instances of Emma until further notice. As for who was behind this horrendous attack, it was the Phantom Thieves, the very same terrorists causing all sorts of mayhem as of late. What? In addition to their heinous crimes, they've even murdered one of our very own, all to steal his research. From there, they had everything they needed to break through Emma's defenses. Murdered? <laughs> That's bullshit. It seems we're the latest victim in what appears to be a string of related incidents. There are several other cases in which these criminals stole information and used it to harass their victims. If the Phantom Thieves are listening, I have a word for you, the cold-blooded killers. We will never succumb to your threats. Not me, not my company, not Emma. You claim to want justice, yet you steal precious data and leave our finest for dead. I can't wait to see the day you're punished. And that sums up the press conference. The police have been notified regarding this case and are looking to arrest the Phantom Thieves as soon as possible. Now you're done it, Phantom Thieves. You goofed up big. They really went and bumped a guy off? Damn it! I just had to go and ruin Emma too. What the hell is going on? Oh, shit. Damn it. Why is no one picking up? Son of a... Secure. Good work. 
Commissioner! <laughs> You're late. Maybe. But you know this case isn't solved yet. Commissioner, I thought I told you at Okinawa. The Phantom Thieves have absolutely nothing to do with the change of heart epidemic. So how can something like this happen? It's as Mr. Kanoe stated. The Phantom Thieves are under suspicion for hacking into Emma and murdering the director of Medisa's research center. And you're going to take him at his word? Where's the proof of any of this? Be honest. Do you think they'd ever sink so low as to murder? That director had died before they even... You seem awfully concerned about a group of criminals, Inspector Hasegawa. Uh, uh... Have you forgotten they've been our leading suspects from the start? Put your feelings aside and focus. We cannot let these crimes go unpunished. What's more, I'm under direct orders from the Commissioner General. Disobedience is not an option. The Commissioner General? What does he have to do with any of this? Don't you sense something wrong here? There has to be more to it. Like when your wife died? <clears throat> I thought I told you back then. This organization is as rotten as it is immense. One cannot simply bend it to their will. Now, if you want to follow justice, learn to exercise restraint. <clears throat> Besides, you made a vow that to stop any atrocity, you'd endure any hardship. So endure for now. Your time will come. But they're not even... Once I am at the top, I will bring the corrupt to their knees. Let my justice be your justice. They're not even criminals. They're kids! I've already made myself clear. <sighs> Commissioner? You're saying that the world is as neatly divided into good and evil. But that won't stop us from fighting. If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. Seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a phantom thief now? <sighs> <sighs> Let me handle this. I believe you have a daughter who needs you. My daughter? Why, Dad? Why don't you even listen to me? You know who the real bad guy is! Aren't the police supposed to do what's right? Akane. It's time. Everyone ready? All units, move out! Hold it! Run. Run for it, all of you! Idiot. You're under arrest. Interfering with an officer is punishable by law. Next, don't let them escape. Hey, it's me. The password. What pairs well with curry? Coffee. Accepted. What the hell kind of password is that? Something only a true Libla aficionado would know. It's foolproof. Did I really need a password? How are things out there, Mona-chan? It's a nightmare. The streets are packed with cop cars, and there are foot patrols on every corner. For once, I'm actually glad I look like this. Ugh, this makes no sense. I thought part of our deal was that they wouldn't arrest us. 
Yeah, and now they're treating us like killers. It's total bullshit. This journey was supposed to prove our innocence, yet it only led to further condemnation. You don't think Gramps tricked us, do ya? Zenkichi put himself at risk to warn us. Without him, we'd be in much greater danger right now. And if Zenkichi-san really wanted to sell us out, the police would have showed up here, too. So let's stop doubting him, guys. Yeah, you're right. By the way, Sophia, thanks for getting us here safe. No prob. But how did all this happen? It's probably safe to assume this was something beyond Zenkichi-san's control. Betcha Kanoe set it up. Seeing how much bullshit he was spewing about justice. Well, we've wreaked havoc in four jails already. If Kanoe had created them, it would only stand to reason that he'd lash out now. But it could also be Owada. The politicians and Kichi told us about, either one of them may have us all profiled. <sighs> so what do we do now? Hey, why is Senkichi's name on TV? Last night, the Kyoto Prefectural Police announced their arrest of Inspector Zenkichi Hasegawa for harboring fugitives. Police headquarters have released a statement regarding this apparent scandal, which has been met with much confusion. You gotta be kidding! They're taking it out on Gramps? Why would they arrest him? He sacrificed everything to save us. Then let's get off our asses and help him. Don't be reckless. We'll only be led into their trap, and that's exactly what they want. I get that, but... I'll try talking to Sis. Oh, right! sai sounds a lawyer! I've kept her out of the loop so far, and I imagine she won't be too happy once I get her up to speed. There are more important things to worry about than her reaction. I'll see if she can help. Good. As for the rest of us, Let's keep gathering as much information as we can. Ah, damn it. Ah, that bastard interrogator. It's like he enjoyed getting those hits in. Ah, guess that's what I deserve. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Ah, should have just left those thieves alone. Then neither of us would be in this shitty situation. I couldn't even protect the ones I care about most. God damn it! Uh, wonder if they made it out all right. <laughs> As if that even matters anymore. Connie. Aoi. I'm sorry. I couldn't save anyone in the end. for an inspector's daughter. Listen, Akane-chan, was it? We have plenty of probable cause. See, your daddy's been arrested thanks to the Phantom Thieves. What? The Phantom Thieves got him arrested? No. No way that's true. I mean, why? <laughs> you really didn't know. I'm sure it's all over the news by now, TV and online. Now move along. We have work to do. Inspectors and Kichi Hasegawa of the Kyoto Police held under suspicion. Arrested for harboring fugitives? The Phantom Thieves found responsible for murder and... Hacking Emma? That's impossible. What am I gonna do? Somebody... Help me. Sure. How can I help you? Have the Phantom Thieves been caught? No, not yet. I've seen three-legged dogs work faster than the boys in public security. <laughs> well, they sure are tenacious. I guess that's how they made it this far. You think the police could uh, turn up the heat on their hot pursuit? If you're asking, I'll see what I can do. But in return, make sure you don't forget to set up a jail of mine as well. Oh. That's a given. Please, look forward to what I have in store. 
Hmm. Emma? Yes, Akira. How may I help you? Do you think the cops can actually catch the Phantom Thieves? Considering the Phantom Thieves' unknown power, it may take a considerable amount of time. I was hoping to get you back online once we captured them. If it takes any longer, it may negatively impact our public image. Maybe what I said on TV wasn't exactly reassuring. All right, Emma. What's our best option? The fact that the Phantom Thieves can access jails poses a threat to our plans. Since we can't afford to wait for the police, we could always trap them in a jail and force a change of heart. Now there's an idea. After all, we wouldn't want to waste their precious talent. Good plan. How do we make it work? It would be best to make the Phantom Thieves come to us instead of chasing them. Perhaps we can use someone they're close with as bait to lure them into a jail. Oh, and you have someone in mind? Yes. Then that's who we'll go with. Emma, make that person a monarch and have them capture the Phantom Thieves. Understood. Once they're in our grasp, we change their hearts to our liking. And if that proves impossible, they die. Should we notify Mr. Owada? No. Let him be. In order to cleanse this world of evil, nothing you, Phantom Thieves, you will be the sacrifice to bring about my new world order. So, I got a hold of my sister, and yes, she was angry, but she also said she'd do her best to help. That's a relief. Then we'll leave Zenkichi to Nijima for now. What should we do from here? We can't just sit here and wait. Hmm? It's from Akane-chan. What the? What's wrong? Akane-chan's been taken. It says if we want her back, we have to go to Inari Taisha. Huh? The hell's that supposed to mean? Taken? You mean kidnapped? Why? She's got nothing to do with us! I don't know. I'm just going off of the message she sent us. You guys think maybe Akane's just messing around? Akane-chan doesn't know our other identities. And even if she did, she wouldn't trick us. True. Uh, who would do such an awful thing? That's definitely a possibility. So they're using a Kanechan just to lure us out? Given the timing, what else could it be? Unforgivable. What do we do? We can't even go to the cops. What else is there to do? We go after her. Calm down a moment. This has to be a trap. Yeah, they'd probably catch us within minutes of stepping out the door. <laughs> we can't just leave her. They even lay a finger on Akane-chan, I'll... Anyway, with Zinkichi-san behind bars, we are the only ones who can save her. If we put our own safety above that of an innocent life, then we have no right to call ourselves Phantom Thieves. I am well aware what this is, and I'm fine going out there alone. You guys stay here and hold the fort. But... You losing it? We never let a friend risk their neck without at least giving back. Plus, Akane-chan's our fan. She knows more than anyone we never abandon people in need. Otherwise, we couldn't live up to our name. Even if it is a trap, let's turn the tables against them. Darn right, Haru. Let's show them how big a mistake they've made. Thanks, everyone. All right, I'll take point and guide you past trouble. Sophia, you navigate. Okay, got it. I'll find the quickest and safest route there. Let's get going. Well, we made it here somehow. Sophia, are you sure this is it? I'm definitely sure. We're outside Inari Taisha. But I don't see anybody suspicious. <laughs> if it's a trap, then freaking come out already! What the hell? Who call us out here and then make us wait? 
What is it? What did you find? I found... a jail. This whole area smells like one. You mean there was a jail in Kyoto this whole time? No, there wasn't one before. I'm sure of it. But there is one now. How is that possible? You have a friend request from the Phantom Thieves. Please state the keyword. Now what is it? A friend request on Emma. Could it be the kidnapper? Given our location and the circumstances we're in, I'd say without a doubt. But we don't know the dang keyword. Wait a minute, why do we even need one? Isn't Emma supposed to be inactive? So why is it working now all of a sudden? Yeah, you're right. Maybe they restarted their service? I just want to know why the friend request says it's from the Phantom Thieves. What gives? Makes it seem like we're the bad ones. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. What? The keyword's Phantom Thieves too? Oh, you're shitting me! Looks like... a jail. It has to be. My bad, guys. I just had to go and blurt out the keyword. Don't worry about it. Either way, the kidnapper wanted us to be here. Why else would he have set up a brand new jail? Help me! That voice! Help me, Phantom Thieves! That sounds like a Connie chan No way! Is she actually in here? That's a problem. Where there are jails, there are bound to be shadows. Yes, there's no time to waste. Let's get Akane-chan out of here. about this jail. I'm ready for anything, guys.
Spit it out, Hasagawa. The Phantom Thieves. Where are they? <sighs> Damn traitor. You cost us all the achievement of a lifetime. <laughs> you say that, and you call me traitor? What was that? I can see it in your eyes. Every one of you. Your heart's been changed. Now you're just a zombie. Zombie my ass. You better cut the crap and give me a straight answer. Unless you want your face run straight through this table. Uh, be my guest. <laughs> Need I remind you who you're dealing with? <sighs> I'm pub sec, asshole. <laughs> we don't bend easy to piss ants like you. Are you? Hey, wait. You can't just barge in here like this. Who is it? I'm sorry, Miss Nijima, but we're in the middle of questioning. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. I can see why they would trust you. Nijima? Nice to meet you, Zenkichi Hasegawa. I'm Sai Nijima, and I've been asked to get you out of here. <laughs> I heard you've been looking after Makoto for me. anyone how am I supposed to help them I can't just sit here and do nothing think Futaba think who's there Sakura oh thank heavens you're all right <laughs> where are the others did they make it you're okay I'm so glad whoa <laughs> calm down there of course I am now, where's the rest of the gang? Are they all right? Nobody is. They've all been caught. Caught? By the police? No, by Akane. Akane? What's my daughter got to do with any of this? Listen, I need you to fill me in. Akane has a jail? You're saying she's a monarch? Uh-huh. Huh. That's insane. I can hardly believe what I'm hearing. Did they rough you up when you were arrested, Zenkichi? Uh, I'm fine. I actually owe you kids for sending in the cavalry, in the form of a kick-ass lawyer. Oh, right. Makoto's sis. Dang, she works fast. That she does. Next time my own people decide to arrest me, I'm calling her first thing. So, what's the cavalry doing now? Working with her superiors to take some of the pressure off us. At least for the time being. That way we can make our move. What move? Are you cooking up a plan? Yeah. I want to get in that jail and walk out with my daughter and the rest of your crew. That's no plan. That's a suicide run. There are shadows all over the place. If you charge in with no persona, you're toast. What? I need one of these persona things too? Can't you take them out with yours? My persona's not really spec for combat. It's more of the support persuasion. That's fine. I'll take whatever support you've got. You do realize this could kill you. That may be. But I'm Akane's father. I'd die for her without a second thought. Zenkichi. Besides, if our loved ones are on the line, I'd rather take a stand than sit back and calculate risks. I know it's the same with you guys. <sighs> right. Let's team up and get everyone back. Damn it! Ah, shit won't budge. Hey, give it a rest, Skull. Just wasting your energy. Yeah, but still! There's no point. No matter how hard you try, we're stuck here. We should wait and weigh our options. Yeah, fine. I sure hope Oracle's okay. With any luck, she made it out unscathed. Hanai-chan, 
Why are you of all people a monarch? Who can say? How did it even come to this? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to change your rotten hearts. Akane chan! Phantom thieves do nothing but dress up murder and glorify mass hysteria. No, you can't be the real Phantom thieves. You're fakes hiding behind masks. I'll make extra sure to personally change your hearts. Akane, that's not true! We're not the bad guys here! That's right! Even your father's been set up! Bullcrap! I won't let anyone fool me again! I can't trust anyone anymore! The police! Not him! Not you losers! Akane-chan! Choose. Who wants their heart changed first? Get down already or they're gonna see you! Get down, she says. Akane's in here. Somewhere. They're on you, Zenichi! Uh, Hide! Uh. <sighs> <sighs> nice. Now let's get filthy. Okay. Let's do this, partner. Incoming, dead ahead! Hide or it's over! You better hide if you see something coming. You're a goner if you get caught. I know, I know. That's why I need your backup sucker. Close. spot Is that a compliment? Or even a word? Uh, either way, not sure I'm a fan. There they are, in that cell! Great, let's spring them. Just a second, kids. Now choose. Who wants their heart changed first? Go do it, Akane! Ramps? He escaped the police after all. 
What are you doing here? Guys, we came to help! Oracle! I can hardly believe it! Good going, Oracle. I knew you'd come. You are Akane, right? <sighs> Just stop this! None of them did anything wrong. If you're willing, we can talk this out. Talk it out? With you? <laughs> you can just go to hell. No matter how many times I told you what happened, you didn't do a thing. So don't try acting like a father to me. Akane, please listen to me just this once. You're right. I couldn't catch the person who took your mother's life. I understand why you'd want nothing to do with a father who kept his head down and took it. But if you don't snap out of it, they're gonna get you too. Now wake up! You say you couldn't catch him? It's more like you didn't want to catch him! That monster who killed Mom! You knew it was Awada! Awada? As in Awada the Legislator? One of the masterminds we seek? It happened right in front of me! Awada ran Mom over without a hint of regret! You, the police, and everyone I can think of. Even then, he wasn't arrested. <sighs> Why is that? Why does he get to take an innocent life? Aren't the police supposed to do what's right? Well... <sighs> Senkichi-san, tell her! Nijima... Kane-chan isn't just angry in the moment. She's been consumed with frustration ever since she lost her mother. Until you tell her the truth, she is going to keep playing this over and over in her heart. And if you do nothing, she'll never move past it. <sighs> After your mom died, I was taken off the case. They reasoned that a family member couldn't judge impartially. Soon after, that secretary ended his own life leaving behind a note saying he was the one responsible. No one else spoke up to contradict that. To the police, it seemed like solid proof. Eventually, they concluded the secretary was at fault and left it at that. To them, the case was as good as closed. Akane, when you told me what really happened, I knew that note was fake. So without skipping a beat, I opened up my own investigation. But no matter what I found as proof, it'd get wiped one way or another before I could bring it to light. So you gave up, right? Your sense of justice sure didn't get you very far. Akane, I made a promise to Aoi that I'd protect you, no matter what the case. What? At that point, you were my only reason to live. I didn't want to lose more family, so I promised Aoi I'd never let anything happen to you, even if it killed me. Saying that doesn't change anything. One day, I received a threat letter in the mail telling me to either stop my investigation or my daughter dies. What? How could they? That's when I realized there was definitely evil in this world. And in the end, one man is nothing compared to the forces of darkness. Gramps. I will never forgive Owada. Even though I can't lay a finger on him, if it weren't for my current boss, I'd still be wallowing in despair. I decided I'd do whatever it takes to help her reach the top. All the while thinking it was the only way to protect Akane and honor Aoi's memory. And I was even prepared to use all of you without a second thought. Senkichi. <laughs> trying to keep you safe? Oh, I know what he was trying to do. But to do it, he sacrificed his values as an officer. Akane. If it was only us, I'd get it. We're family. Mom would think so too. But what about the secretary who died? Did you ever stop to think what his family's going through? <sighs> Not only did they lose a loved one, they have mom's death hanging over their heads. Did you forget that? Did you choose to forget on purpose? Uh, I had no idea you were thinking of them. You're just like the trash who killed Mom. 
pretending nothing ever happened. I'm like Owada? You and the police just sit on your asses all day, letting the bad guys roam free. You people can't save anyone. I can. I'm the only one who cares. I'll change that evil bastard's heart so Mom can rest in peace. Uh. I'll beat down every last villain in this world. Connie Chun. Is this why you became a monarch? Because I sacrificed others to keep what little family I have alive? Was I wrong? This whole time? And this is all my doing. You're like this because of me. Zenkichi. It's true. I used whoever I could. As long as my daughter was safe, it didn't matter what anyone else suffered. What else was I supposed to do? I was trying to protect my family. It's what anyone would have done. Anyone! Anyone but a man of justice. Who's there? Are you sure you weren't at fault? Who's talking to me? You knew what it would cost to give up your chase. Yet you fled from the truth. Convinced yourself it was right and just. With your daughter's name hollow upon your lips. You are as guilty as those you hate. A foul villain rotten to the core. That's... No. I... You traded away the justice you built. You bought your comfort. Bribed your guilt. <laughs> Senkichi? Senkichi, what happened? Snap out of it! He's right. It's all true. I let Aoi's murderer run free, and used the Phantom Thieves solely for my benefit. I'm just as rotten as those criminals. I don't have the right to lecture Akane. I never did to begin with. Fight? That's right, Zenkichi! Wake up! Maybe you did stuff your emotions away, but it was for your family's sake! You did it to protect Akane, the daughter you love! My mom was the same! She worked as hard as she could every day, doing what she believed was right! So stop blaming yourself! If you want to blame someone, blame those monsters that hurt your family! Yeah! Don't lose sight of your target! Your devotion to your daughter is what matters. Torturing yourself over that would be a waste. Now look deep within your heart, and find your way forward! Guys... Be strong, Senkichi! Please get back up! This is something only you can do! The real enemies are still out there. Bring them down for Akane-chan's sake! <sighs> You're right. The real threat is still out there. Those who ruin lives and tear families apart without a second thought. How stupid have I been? My own daughter tells me how to do my job. And then these kids start lecturing me? I may not be a hero, and I sure as hell don't deserve any awards. But at least I know what makes a person evil. Evil only cares about itself. It's the mark of a man who would bring another to ruin and dare not show remorse. I will never let people like that go free. And I'll give everything I have to bring them down! And they do not see their agony. Just as you once did. 
but another story must begin. Now, show your jailers that you will wear a different chain. I am thou. Thou art I. If you yet seek true justice, we will see it done. Seal the contract. Listen to me, Akane. Those scumbags are feeding off your pain and that of other decent human beings. They drain the lives of those around them like parasites, all for their own petty convenience. So don't let them take advantage of you. You need to come home with me. After all this, you still won't see things my way. I won't believe you. I can't. With the power I have, I can finally change the bad people's hearts. If that bothers you, then come and get me. With fair warning, I'll change your heart before you even know it. Akane, don't go! She disappeared. Was she some sort of hologram? Ah, uh, damn it. Are you guys all right? Uh, we are, but what about you? That outfit of yours... Belongs in a museum, I know. But forget about that. Let's get you out of there. Looks like it's electronically locked. Hold on. I'll get it open in a jiffy. Woo! Thanks, Oracle. I knew you'd come to our rescue. Of course. I'm so glad you're all okay. No 
totally. I am a phantom thief after all. <sighs> we narrowly escaped a dark fate. Yeah. I thought I'd be stuck in a jail all over again. We heard you were arrested. You had us worried sick. Well, thanks to you, I got out. Gotta tip my hat to your older sister, too. Good going, sis. I knew you could do it. But damn, Gramps. I nearly dropped a brick when you showed up. Hey, I'm just as flabbergasted as you. And what's with the chained up knight thing? That's the rebel in your heart awakened. The power of your persona. A rebel, huh? Hey, fine by me. I don't understand a damn thing, but if it can help me fight, I'll take it. So, you guys know what this means. He needs an official code name. I do? Oh, right. Whenever you're in uniform, you always call each other something different. Hmm. Then go ahead and call me... Wolf. Those endless days of barking on command are done. From now on, lone wolf or not, my fangs will shred all evil. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah, that totally puts it in perspective. You do look cool, Wolf. All right, then. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Uh, is that simple, huh? Thanks. Good to be here. Not to change the subject, but I want to get back to Akane. And I'm gonna need everyone's... Uh, uh, help? Uh, Whoa! Gramps, you good? Uh, uh, damn. Uh, why the hell am I so exhausted? It's all part of the process of awakening your persona. It takes quite a toll on your psyche. We should head back to the real world and rest. No. I'll be fine. Akane comes first. Damn it. We can't fail this mission if we want to save Akane chan's life. Let's come back when we're able to fight at our best. Fine. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Damn. Yeah. If that's so. Ah. <sighs> Yet another has awakened to the flames of their rebellion. This man bears the Apostle Arcana, representing both fairness and compassion. The Apostle walks the road of life upholding his beliefs as well as the precepts of the law. His encounters with you all have released him from the chains that once bound him. And you are worth special mention. You possess an extraordinary ability to touch people's hearts. I see you're brimming with confidence. It is something I have come to expect of you, Trickster. Now, the reason I brought you here was to inform you of a new execution method. Its purpose is to strengthen your personas. While this method does not give rise to new personas, it will instead allow you to strengthen those you already possess. Please make use of this power on your quest to save that innocent girl. Hello, Trickster. May luck be on your side. Zenkichi, you're better already? You bet. No one in public security stays down for long. I may be a geezer in your eyes, but a little rest goes a long way with me. At any rate, I'm gonna need the full support of the Phantom Thieves. So please, help me get Akane back.
I've been waiting for you imposters. Yeah, even you. I'm gonna end you all right here. After that, it's payback time for the guy who killed my mom. Akane, please, listen! I'm done running away! I will catch the villain who killed your mother without fail! I swear it on Aoi's name! So please, give this up already! How can I trust a word you say? All adults do is lie. Even if there are bad people in the world, they just pretend they don't exist. And the Phantom Thieves came along, shattering lies and leaving truth in their wake. But now... Hear me out, Akane-chan. I'm sure you've noticed, too. But zenkichi son is just as torn up over losing your mother. All he could do was fight the pain the best way he knew how. But because of how painful your experience was, you didn't want to accept his solution. No, that's not true! You know it's not that simple, Akane-chan. Your father isn't the one at fault. It's the man who killed your mother in the first place. I can't begin to imagine the pain and suffering you went through. But please, give your father a chance. What are you? Once you lose somebody, it's too late to tell them anything ever again. Holding back will only lead to regret later down the line. And in order to avoid that, you need to face the truth head on. That's something I could only learn from the people right here. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up! The of these would never spew such lies. They would be on my side! The real Phantom Thieves would never hurt me. The real Phantom Thieves are my friends! Everyone, guards up! Wait, that one looks like... Joker? Cognition? For cognitions? What? What does that even mean? They're just some phonies. They sure won't look like us when we're done with them. You better make it quick. Hang on, Akane. I'm coming to get you. Listen to me. Everything you do is so annoying! These might be our strongest foes yet! Careful, everyone! It's over! Come! 
I'm a hot Satanta Mothman! Satanta, ravage them! Oh, no! Let's go! Mothman, come on! Mitra! She- Mitra! She's up! Mitra! Take this! With this! Fire! Take this! Don't forget it! I have no idea. 
idea I made it so bad for you were coming. I'm so sorry. I won't run from the truth anymore. Please, come back to me. Okay. <laughs> we ain't losing to no phonies. They may have appeared like us on the surface, but in the end, they were pale imitations. They never stood a chance. <laughs> Not against the real thing. No way. How could this happen? How could my Phantom Thieves lose? Does that mean you're the real ones? So you're the actual Joker? You betcha. Can't mimic authenticity. Please trust us, Akane-chan. And your father, too. None of us would ever give in to injustice. And no matter what, we never stray from our chosen path. But you... <laughs> to be honest, Akane, you were right. I'm probably the worst dad out there. I couldn't avenge Aoi. Nor could I carry out my duties as an officer. Hell, I... Couldn't even talk to you face to face. <laughs> I was afraid to lose you, and so I turned my back on justice and buried the thought of vengeance for Aoi. All this time, I've been fooling myself, thinking one day I'd get my chance, but I couldn't have been more wrong. So I want to set things right. I swear that I'll bring those criminals to justice for what they've done to you too. And Akane, I need your courage to do it. Really? Are you really going after him? Yes. Consider it a promise to your mother. Then, if it's a promise, I will never, ever forgive you if you break it. Don't worry. I never will, Makane. I... I believe you. I always have. Dad. Makane! Stay with me, Akane! I've always been so scared of losing what's precious to me. After Mom passed away, you changed. You used to be so cool. And suddenly, you didn't even want to look me in the eye. You were never home, either. Like, you didn't want to see me. I hated that. Akane... But it's okay now. I can tell. You want to be the dad I used to know. Oh, what is this? What's happening? I'm really sorry, Dad. And... Thanks. No. This has to be some kind of joke. It has to be! Akane! Calm down, Wolf. This is how it always happens. Huh? Akane-chan, or should I say Akane-chan's shadow, went back to her former self. That's a sure sign the real Akane will go back to normal too. So cheer up, Wolf. <laughs> you guys couldn't have mentioned that sooner? That display of emotions you cried your heart out. It was touching, to say the least. Mm-hmm. It made me cry a little too. <laughs> Something like that. Gotta say, one hell of a dad. Very admirable, Wolf. And <laughs> that's putting it mildly. He did everything he could to protect Akane-chan. Even risking his own life. <laughs> Would you cut it out? I'm nowhere near that competent. <laughs> Are you blushing? Uh, all jokes aside, there's no need to hold back anymore, Wolf. Together, we can strike down any evil. All of us working as one. <laughs> Never thought a thief could teach me a thing or two. But you know what? I made Akane a promise to arrest Konoe and Owada and bring this case to an end. Damn right! Uh, not to backtrack, but what's going on with Akane in the real world? Actually, we came here because we heard she was kidnapped. Maybe she was never kidnapped to begin with. Might be good to check if she's at home. Sounds like a plan. We're done here.
Mm. Akane. <laughs> oh, you've become so much like your mother. You grew up, maybe even a little too fast. I was so desperate to protect you that I became blind to just about everything else. I failed you as a father. But I'm done running away. Kanoe's going to pay for using you. And Owada's going down with him. He's going to answer for taking Aoi from us. I won't lose sight of justice ever again. Dad? Akane! Are you alright? You're not hurt anywhere or anything, are you? I, uh... I'm okay. Oh. Good. When did I fall asleep? Oh, that's right. You wouldn't remember. Remember what? Uh, how should I explain this? All right, we'll take it nice and slow. There's a lot to talk about. Will you hear me out, Akane? I'm really glad Akane-chan is okay. Well, I'm with you there. This time was a little too close. But why did Akane-chan become a monarch? Hmm. It sounded like Akane-chan kind of had her own agenda. Is that what makes you a monarch, though? Well, one thing's for certain. Akane was made into a monarch to capture us. If I had to guess, Kanoe is the one who set this up. Although, I'm not sure if he was acting on Awada's orders, or just on his own. Do you think Kanoe made Alice and Natsume into monarchs, too? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. It probably wasn't for the same reason he made Akane into one. That part remains a mystery. Playing with other people's hearts like that. He won't get away with this. Yeah, just you wait, you gochin mother... Is it gone? Oh, looks like they haven't found this place just yet. We're stuck here unless we do something. Coming phone call from Asai Nijima. What? From Sis? Hello? It's been some time. Do you remember me? It's Sai Nijima. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Sounds like you've stuck your nose into something big again. Is everyone else with you? But could you put me on speaker? <sighs> it's good to hear you're all okay. Sis, thank you. I knew you'd come through for us. You owe me big for this one. My help doesn't come cheap, you know. For real? You really saved our asses. We would have been totally boned if you hadn't got Gramps out. Gorgeous and professional. That's a recipe for a femme fatale super lawyer if I've ever seen one. Flattery won't get you anywhere, just so you're aware. Plus, I can't take all the credit. Anyway, I have some good news. The arrest warrant for the Phantom Thieves has been voided. That should keep the police off your backs for the time being. What? How did that happen? The arrest warrant didn't have a judge's seal. What's more, the evidence submitted was fake. It seems like someone wanted you all arrested. And they didn't care what for, so long as it was done. Not only that, but it turns out the Public Security Bureau had a hand in Inspector Hasegawa's unlawful investigation. The Prefectural Police are scrambling to cover this up right now. They can't afford to be out looking for you. I'll contact you if anything happens. In the meantime, just focus on getting out of your current predicament, okay? Just make it back in one piece. No better way to say thanks. Sis, thank you so much. Stay safe, Makoto. All right, I have business to take care of. I'm looking forward to hearing from you again. How encouraging. To know there are others out there who support us. Mm-hmm. We'll need to do all we can to succeed, for their sakes, too. Now we just gotta come up with a plan. What should we do? If Kanoe is responsible for changing everyone's hearts, then it's likely this case will be resolved once we change his heart. Yeah, and we'll clear our names, too. Great. We won't be suspects in the director's murder anymore, either. But... we still don't have the keyword for Kanoe's jail. He seems to be more aware of our activities than we expected. 
I doubt we'll be able to carry out Zenkichi's plan at this point. And that's not all. If he knows about us, then he probably knows to keep his keyword safe as well. Safe to assume he won't just carelessly let it slip out. Not while his heart's liable to be changed. Up shit creek without a paddle. Now what? Hmm. We just need someone who can get Kanoe's keyword without raising suspicion. Is that right? Do you know of such a person? What about Kuan Ichinose? Of course. Ichinose-san's the one who developed Emma. And she's had contact with Kanoe, thanks to the lecture at the university. Ichinose-san might be able to get Kanoe's keyword without seeming out of place. This just might work. <laughs> Good job, Sophia. A piece of cake, as they say. See if you can call her up right now. Hello? Oh, hello there. You seem to be doing okay. That's great to hear. Truly brightens my day. Not every day I get a call from you. And I'm sure you have something interesting for me, so I can't help but be excited. So, did something happen? Or, wait, let me back up a bit. How did things go in Okinawa? Oh, right. We never told Ichinose-san about Okinawa. That's true. We should fill her in on what's been going on. Oh, it sounds like you're all together. Okay, let's hear it. I see, I see. It seems you're caught up in another crazy adventure as usual. <laughs> This ain't nothing to laugh about. Oops, I guess that wasn't right of me. Hmm, I think I understand what's going on. So, you're after Kanoe-san's keyword, right? Right. Do you think you can get it out of him? Well, asking him for it might be kind of weird. I mean, I already got it from him a while ago. Say what? But, but how? Well, the day you guys came to that lecture, there was a little social gathering afterward for some of the bigger names involved. It was there I ran into Kanoe-san and he gave me his business card. The keyword was right there on the front. Huh. Now, where'd I put it? Oh, I'm pretty sure I had it right uh, here. Please, you gotta find it. This is top priority. Oh, oh right, okay. I think it was around here somewhere. I'll make sure I find it by tomorrow. Have a nice day! Uh, eccentric as ever, isn't she? And it's gonna take till tomorrow? How messy do you think her room is? A small price to pay, but if this gets us his keyword... Mm-hmm. We'll be able to enter Kanoe's jail. Can we really count on her, though? I'm not so sure, but we don't have any other options right now. Yeah. Let's just make sure we're prepared for when we finally infiltrate the jail. Tomorrow, we'll link up with Zenkichi and head to Osaka. So, we're finally at Kanoe's home base, huh? Man, too bad we had to come here for Phantom Thief biz. We could have stuffed ourselves stupid. Well, Sophia, is there a jail nearby? There is. I can smell it. Guess that settles it then. Now, if Ichinose-san could just find that business card. This is it, you guys. Do or die. We're gonna take that asshole Kanoe down and settle this once and for all. Oh. Who decided to step their game up? Think maybe his new persona abilities go into his head? Uh, if this were a movie, you'd probably be taken out within the next 30 minutes. What? Give me a friggin' break! I'm just saying we should be ready, alright? Luckily, we won't have to worry about getting caught by the police. But still, we'll want to be good and ready for what's ahead. Well, Osaka is Japan's kitchen. I can't imagine a better place to provide us with a pre-battle meal. And there's plenty else here for us, too. By the way, is Akane-chan okay? Yeah, she was up in Adam this morning. She's with her grandparents right now. I really owe you guys. Thanks. I don't know why, but it's weird hearing you thank us like that, Gramps. 
<laughs> well, it's not like he made the best first impression. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't trust the police and all that. Getting back to business, though. Do you guys have a plan to get Konoe's keyword? Yep. Ichinose is looking into it. Ichinose? Oh, right. The woman who designed Emma. Ichinose is calling. I'll put it on speaker. Hey, speak of the devil. Good morning, Phantom Thieves! How's everyone been? Ah, upbeat as usual, I see. Did you have any luck getting the keyword? <laughs> Did you forget who you're talking to? Of course I found it. No problem whatsoever. Oh, hell yeah! Now then, without further ado, Akira Kanoe's keyword is... Zephyrman! Zephyr... what now? Zephyrman... Is that what I think it is? You've heard of it, Futaba? It's an old live-action superhero series. You know, the kind where they transform and fight evil and stuff. It's got somewhat of a cult following, but for the most part, it's pretty small time. Kanoe must be a big superhero buff. So it's a superhero TV show. Why would he have something like that as his keyword? Well, whatever his reason, we can enter the jail now. Thank you for your help, Ichinose-san. Nonsense. It was easy. Besides, hearing you guys go about your business truly brightens my day. I guess I am pretty amazing. But it's kind of embarrassing when someone else points it out. Anyhow, the real fight is only just beginning, right? Make sure you don't get yourselves killed out there! Alrighty, I can't wait to hear all the juicy details when you get back. Adios, Phantom Thieves! Okay, next stop, Kanoe's Jail. If things go according to plan, this will be the last one. Right. Changing Kanoe's heart should bring an end to the change of heart epidemic. Man, this is turning out to be one hell of a summer vacation. I'll say. We ended up traveling nearly the whole country. We're not done just yet. Not until we knock Kanoe off his perch and make it safely back to Tokyo. You know what they say. It ain't over till it's over. Hey, uh, are you sure it's okay for you to be hanging around us, Senkichi? You're not gonna get fired or anything? Come on. You're not gonna make me sit out for the finale, are you? That bastard Kanoe's gonna get what's coming to him. Plus, it's time you kids cleared your names. And let's not forget Owada. I'm bringing him in, too. Indeed. We cannot return to our own lives until we expose his misdeeds. All right, what do you say we get going? Can you find us the best entry point, Sophia? Okay, leave it to me. Never see it coming.